Hey, let me show you a few tips and tricks for your Redmi 14C. And first of all, we are gonna definitely start from one of my favorite features that will be double tap to wake or turn off the screen. That is actually available uh, when you open the lock screen settings. And here we can find the double tap to wake and off. And now if you want to turn on or off your screen, that's all you have to do is just to double tap on the lock screen to wake or turn it off. You don't have to reach for your fingerprint sensor. Next, uh, we can also find here the automatic wallpaper change. So what it does, basically every time you're gonna lock your screen, it will actually change the wallpaper and take a look. It just automatically changed the wallpaper. So every time you unlock your phone, you will get new, beautiful wallpaper. Next, we've got also another shortcut for the camera. Take a look, when I'm gonna turn off the screen and then quickly double tap on the volume down button, I will actually open the camera application. And what is also really useful, then on the lock screen, when you swipe down like this, you will actually bring some features. So for example, you've got access into your quick panel. So if you want to quickly actually do something, you don't need to unlock your phone. And for example, if you want to turn on or off the mobile data, Wi-Fi, or for example, flashlight, you can do this straight on your lock screen instead of unlocking your phone. And also, uh, when you are here on this home screen, you can swipe down and get some quick search. And it actually search for everything, for apps, for features. Like if I want to, for example, find something about the fingerprint, take a look. I've got search result from the settings. So I don't have to go to the settings. I can just simply swipe up like this and there we go. Also in this phone, uh, we can find a reading mode. So if you are using your phone in the night time, you want to reduce, you know, this blue light, you can go right here, turn it on, you can customize it. So we can increase the color temperature, but you can even add the texture like with the real paper and you can even get the black and white color. So that's like great extension. But when you're here, we can also force to get 120 Hertz of the refresh rate. Take a look. You can click here and switch from 60 to 100. Next, we've got also themes and we can customize like almost everything on this phone. Take a look. When I'm going to open my already themes, the, this one that I already apply, I can go here and now I can customize it so I can change my lock screen wallpaper home screen all wallpaper, I can change icons or system. So I'm gonna actually apply everything. And take a look. Wait a minute. Now we have to wait for this changes. And there we are. As you can see, the layout has changed, including icons and the wallpaper. Next, we can find here also AppLocker that will be available when you go to the applications. So we can basically set password on your app. And as you can see right here, I've got this different layout on my settings. As you can see, it looks different. It actually changed the color, font. That's actually really nice stuff. So uh, as I said before, we can go for apps and we can find AppLocker. So when you open it, you will have to open your privacy password and you can simply set lock for any application. You can get recognition by your fingerprint sensor, by your face unlock, or for example, by this fingerprint. And when you are here, uh, we can also set up uh, background auto startups. So I can recommend you to go back and input this phrase right here. Auto start up. Okay, if it is not here, we can simply scroll for a battery. So I believe it will be available here. Okay, never mind. I just missed this function. Uh, but next, move forward, we can also use here the voice typing. So when you want to quickly actually input a lot of phrases, you can just click. When the keyboard pops up, click right here. 
And right now we can start saying, and it will actually start applying the text right here. Take a look. Take, take a look. It's it's uh, that's how it actually works. Now, when uh, we are gonna move forward, we can also use this keyboard translation. So, if you are actually, you know, sending messages to someone of, who doesn't speak your language, so we can open this keyboard, click here, open the translate, and now let's say that I want to transfer from English. There we go into the Arabic language. So now we can actually type something like hello, how are you? And the text will actually go into this language that we select. So that's great extension of the keyboard. Also right here, we can find beam for notifications. So let's input this phrase beam. And it actually turn on the flashlight every time you're going to receive some kind of the notifications just like this. And also we can get the screen flash. So we can choose for the flashlight or for the screen flash. When we go into the additional settings, we can also find this gesture shortcuts. So for the fingerprint sensor, we can s sign in the option. Like in my case, when I'm going to quickly double tap, it will actually take a screenshot. But you can, for example, open the control center if you want. There we go. Or wherever you can turn on the sign in mode or turn it off. That's right. Really nice and good working extension. And we can also find here the game turbo that will be available also in this, you know, special features. So once you actually turn it on, you will be redirected into the game space and here you can adjust a lot of settings of the game turbo. And now when you close this, we can also find the memory extension. So we can increase RAM of your phone. It's uh, just right here. We can also create multiple users. There we go. So we can add the guest account or add another user. And for a calculator, which will be located right here, we can actually find the converter. Take a look. There's like a lot of stuff that we can convert, like data, for example. We can change it if you want. So yeah. And uh, in my opinion, this is like everything. This is like the best features that you can find on the Redmi 14C. Thanks for watching.